How's it going everyone? It is Ethan and a coder and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. In this episode, we finally take a look at Redux. We've been saying that we are going to go into Redux very soon. So I'll show you guys how to set up Redux the new way and the new and improved way with TypeScript. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code and I'll show you guys how to do that. Before we go too far here, I do want to go ahead and set up Redux and start storing some things inside of a global state. That way it makes it a little bit easier for us later on. So let's go ahead and hop into our VS Code. And the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and install all the things that we need for Redux. So go ahead and pop this up. I'm going to go ahead and create a new git bash. And I'm going to go ahead and say npm i redux. I'm going to get react dash redux. And I'm going to get at redux.js slash toolkit because this is the preferred way to use it. So let's go ahead and install that. All right, everything is installed. Let's go ahead and get rid of our terminal. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is open this up and inside of our Redux, I'm going to make a new file. I'm just going to call this store.ts. This is where we are going to set up our store. So let's go ahead and import configure store from uh, Redux.js toolkit. And inside here, we're going to say export const store. Whoops. Then it go under export const store is equal to configure store and then inside of here we'll have our re reducer list and this is just going to be an empty object for the time being we're going to also export a couple of types export type root state this is some workaround stuff you have to do for typescript it's going to return type Maybe return type, type of, this is going to be store.getState. We'll need this later on whenever we're dispatching and getting the state. Also going to export type, and this is going to be app dispatch. Again, this is to help us out with TypeScript. This is going to be type of, and this is going to be store.get or store dot dispatch. So we're going to need these later on. They're just going to help us out a little bit. Next, we need to go into the index.tsx. So hop into there and we are going to import the provider. So go ahead and import provider from react redux like so. And then we need to wrap the provider around this. We also need to import the store from dot dot slash or dot slash redux slash store this might need to be lowercase yes it does and we're going to go ahead and say provider store is equal to our store go ahead and wrap our application in this provider and fix this and we're good to go. So now we have that set up. Now we need to set up some quote unquote slices. So they don't necessarily use these regular old uh, reducers anymore. We use these things called slices. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into our Redux and go and make a new folder called the slices. And inside of our slices, I'm gonna make a new file and I'm just gonna call this register slice. This is going to store information about registering uh, the person who's registering and things of that sort. So I'm going to go ahead and import a couple things from uh, Redux Toolkit. So first we need create slice. We also need payload action. I spell it right. This is going to be from at Redux.js slash toolkit. We're also going to import our DOB interface, from our global interfaces. We are also going to quickly create an interface called register slice state. So this is going to be all the things that we're holding in here. So we're going to have a loading Boolean. This is going to be for whenever we actually register. We'll have an error Boolean again for whenever we actually go through registering. First name string, first name valid. So if we wanted to, we could probably make this um, First name like an object, last name an object. We're not going to, we're just going to do it like this. Last name, string, last name, valid. Boolean. We're going to have an email, a string, and an email, valid. 
boolean so you can kind of see where we're going to be pushing this so instead of doing validation inside of components itself we'll store whether or not they're valid in here this is because in the future we want the next button or the button to go next to the next input or the next um not date but the next modal content we want it everything to be valid before we move forward so that's the idea of this dob is going to be a date of birth and then finally we'll have dob valid which will be boolean so essentially to be able to move forward in the validation or the registration the first name needs to be valid the last name needs to be valid the email needs to be valid and the date of birth needs to be valid so that's the idea behind there next we're going to make another interface called update payload so this is just going to be an interface only for this slice so that's why we're not making it a full-on uh, interface or an export interface we got the string and then the value and this can be a string or a number or it can be a boolean so it can be one of those now we are almost finished setting up the slice we do have to do a little bit of con or a little bit of logic inside uh, but first we'll go ahead and say const initial state and this is going to be a register slice state so we need loading which is going to start out as false we need error which is going to start out as false we need first name which is going to be an empty string we need first name valid false we need last name empty string whoopsie daisies we need last name valid false we need email which would be an empty string we need email valid which will be false we need dob this is going to be an object with month zero day zero and year zero so essentially just an empty uh empty day of birth the dob valid is false so before we actually validate and actually insert some values everything should be false we shouldn't be able to move forward in the validation so now let's finally actually write our slice so export const and we'll go ahead and say register slice is equal to create slice this is how we do our reducers nowadays inside of redux it took me a little bit to get used to this but it's really not that bad the name of the slice is just going to be called register and we're going to have our initial state and finally we'll have our reducers so our reducers are going to take a little bit of work we're just going to have one reducer currently it's going to be called update register so this is just going to update our state so this will take in a state and an action the action will be payload action of type update payload so we probably should have named this a little bit better so let's go ahead and rename this to uppercase upload payload update payload because this is an interface so it should have an uppercase u so we're going to take the current state and our action payload and inside the action payload honestly it should probably be called payload not action um no actually it should be action but inside of here we're going to see what action it is so on and so forth we're going to go ahead and break up this action so name and value and this is going to come from action.payload so this is similar whoops this is going to be similar to how you would do this in the old way except we have an actual object so the first thing what we want to do is say if we are dealing with a month day or year so if the name of the value we want to update is a month or the name of the value that we want to update is a uh, day or the name of the value that we want to update is a year we want to do this so we are going to say let the date of birth equal to state dot dob then we're going to say dob is equal to dot 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 dob so break it apart and then we'll say name colon value value comes from here again we're changing either the month the day or the year of the actual date of birth then we'll go ahead and say state is equal to 
dot 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 state and then we'll update the dob inside that state cool if we're not dealing with that if we're dealing with something other than state we'll say state is equal to dot 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 state and we'll also go ahead and say action we don't need to we can just say name colon value forgot i changed this so if we're not doing month day or year we don't have to update two different objects so here we'll just say name it'll take in either the loading error first name last name blah 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 put in the value and then finally we need to return the state that way it actually updates because sometimes if you don't return it it doesn't update correctly Did it too far try here return that state and that's good to go now finally all we have to do now is go ahead and export const our reducer so update register is equal to register slice dot actions that'll be our action and then export default we're going to say register slice dot reducer so now our slice is up to date for the time being we need to actually link this register reducer inside of our store so let's go ahead and do that so store inside of our reducer we'll first import we're going to import our register reducer from dot dot slash redux slash slices slash register slice and inside of our reducer we're going to call this uh, register and this is going to be a register reducer now that should be all good to go our redux is all set up and now we will be ready to actually use the redux with this patch and use state inside of our determined uh, or a validated date selector and other things unfortunately that's going to be it for today if you guys enjoyed please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button you'll know exactly when it comes out especially at that bell icon if you did enjoy the content today please sure leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it leave a thumbs down either way it helps out with the algorithm all the same and finally if you have any suggestions or feedback for me make sure you leave a comment down below with that being said i appreciate you all for watching stay tuned for the next episode peace out guys and i'll see you in the next one